Hello, hi everyone. Welcome to our channel. Let's learn chemistry. Upon uh, number video in the timing is change I tender any model regular item in video uh, upload in the diarium for the endowers Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. Okay, 6 p.m. Our time will add a set to the game. The video and proper or timing on the armilla. When in key videos, okay, useful on a gilling lay channel on the subscribe here and then in the friends in the game on the share here. Okay. In this video, we will discuss metallurgy in the chapter. We part 2 video. We will discuss the introduction of the leaching of alumina from bauxite. We will discuss the last video. We will discuss the concentration of the ore. We will discuss the third method. We will discuss the leaching of the ore. Next method. One of the methods for the concentration of ore is this leaching. We will explain the leaching of the ore. By considering alumina, by considering the extraction of alumina from uh, bauxite. So leaching is an example for the concentration of uh, ore. Okay. Then uh, the speciality of leaching compared to other methods, this leaching is a chemical method of concentration of, of the ore. Okay. Other methods were simply physically physical methods, but leaching is considered as the chemical method. Now, we will see how to do leaching in the process. We will see how to do the procedure. First, the powdered ore. First, we will crush the ore. The ore should be crushed and it should be in the powdered form. This ore should be dissolved in a suitable solvent. We will select a suitable solvent in which the ore particles should dissolve. Ore dissolve in a suitable solvent. We will select a suitable solvent. That is why we will do the leaching. Important criteria. There should be a suitable solvent in which the ore particles should dissolve okay that is dissolve here anyhow we will dissolve here so there will be solid impurities there will be solid impurities and which remain undissolved in the case we will dissolve here some impurities will dissolve here and back in down and that undissolved impurities is termed as a new term so note down sludge okay that undissolved impurities is called sludge so, if you have a term that you have to use, that means that you have impurities. So, if you have a sludge form, then you have to use impurities and undissolved. That means that we have to remove it. That means that we have to use the method of the filter. First, ore particles should dissolve in the suitable solvent and there will be undissolved impurities that is called sludge and that should be removed through filtration. If you remove the filtration, then we will get the clear filtrate. If we have a filtrate, we will get a solution. And from that solution, we should again obtain this ore particle by either by crystallization or precipitation. If you have a crystallization or precipitation method, we will get the ore particle. रीगेन शाम में इंडी पट्टम, सो बाय यूजिंग अ स्यूटेबल रीएजेंट, फिल्ट्रेशन चाहिए आ, फिल्ट्रेशन चाहिए बम सॉलिड इम्प्यूरिटीज अगर रिमूव आ गम, देन देर विल बी क्लियर फिल्ट्रेट एंड टू दाल फिल्ट्रेट ऐड अ स्यूटेबल रीएजेंट एंड दिस ओर पार्टिकल कैन बी प्रेसिपिटेटेड और क्रिस्टलाइज इन्हें नमक नोका हाउ टू कैरीड आउट दिस लीचिंग ऑफ अल्युमिना फ्रॉम बॉक्साइट बॉक्साइट ने इन्हें नमक अल्युमिना ने लीच लीच आउट ये तो पड़ता है लेकिन आदमी कंसेंट्रेट ही आम नला नमक नोका सो इबेरे नमले डरकना सॉल्वेंट नो आ रहे हैं ना द सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड आर एनएओएच इस द स्यूटेबल सॉल्वेंट फॉर द NaOH as a solvent, as the best solvent for the leaching of alumina. When the uh, bauxite NaOH is soluble, on, that's why we prefer NaOH. Prefer then uh, this bauxite, bauxite no is the principal ore of aluminium. Principal ore of aluminium is called bauxite. But bauxite is the major content of aluminium, but uh, even though 
So this bauxite will be contaminated with some other impurities also. They mean the main impurities were uh, SiO2, silica, then uh, titanium oxide, etc. Silica and titanium oxide are the main impurities present in bauxite along with this uh, alumina. Okay, alumina is the major content. That is the content of the silica and titanium oxide impurities. Then equation no go Al2O3 2H2O and this is known as this Al2O3 2H2O. Okay, that is the ore particle that is bauxite in a representation on Al2O3 2H2O is the uh, bauxite. Then that, uh, that is dissolved in NaOH, then it will form a complex NaAlOH four times. Okay, they put the coordination complex form same and this is soluble. This is soluble in water. This is soluble in water. This is a complex one. First, form G. Okay. So, listen. Uh, first, our particle should be dissolved in sodium hydroxide. Then, it will form a soluble coordination compound. For example, already pointed out, know, the bauxite will contain silica and titanium oxide impurities. Okay. So, this uh, silica, this SiO2 impurities also dissolved in NaOH and form a soluble complex called uh, sodium silicate okay that is the NaOH will turn is e impurities will be like SiO2 soluble on a other one the or soluble complex of form jm sodium silicate but titanium oxide do not get form any uh, soluble complex in this uh, uh, in the presence of the sodium hydroxide other one another than a solid impurity a titan remind you from number the solution will be clear solution will be number when the aluminium under at the same time is sodium silicate under both are actually uh, soluble okay so how to separate this aluminum aluminum from this uh, impurities so for that uh, first of all we will filtrate we will filtrate filtrate the solution karanam idinullile soluble in unsoluble uh, insoluble aayittulla impurities undam sludge undam so in order to remove that sludge first we will filtration filtrate the solution Filtrating in the summation, the soluble impurities can be removed. All the sorry, not soluble, uh, insoluble impurities dissolve under the impurities. No, can the hangane and the amateur dis uh, remove yam and the patum dissolve via the impurities in a car remove yam through filtration upon clear solution love in and down another on the uh, hydrated okay is sodium uh, hydroxide now the complex um pinna sodium silicate to eric and our pass solution like in the uh, pass carbon dioxide into that solution then this uh, complex of the sodium aluminium complex will be precipitated into aluminium hydroxide other than the um, aluminium hydroxide i to precipitate here okay when we will pass to the filtrate when we will pass carbon dioxide gas it get precipitated Precipitated as uh, aluminium hydroxide. Up a sodium silicate and sodium silicate will remain in the solution itself because carbon dioxide passing on sodium silicate in on the sambo kila the precipitate is a yella other solution is an end out. Okay, so aluminium in the content of the in the aluminium hydroxide I to precipitate him. So the second step is pass carbon dioxide to the filtrate, then aluminium hydroxide get precipitate out. Then in the uh, again uh, filtrate again is in the uh, filtrate uh, filtrate in a summit the window number of filtrate in the subway cube this aluminum hydroxide can be separated out okay by filtration this aluminum precipitated aluminum hydroxide can be separated and this aluminum hydroxide on strong heating at 1470 Kelvin 1470 Kelvin we will get alumina okay Al2O3 that is alumina will be obtained by strong heating alumina is obtained by the 